And let's start with a guy who's taking a little break. And Chris and I have been talking about this lately, Shireen, the Tom Brady tampering angle. The Dolphins tried to get him for this year. And what kind of issue is it in the locker room? And Chris and I came to the conclusion that at the end of the day, he's all in with the Buccaneers for 2022. So it doesn't matter if the Dolphins tried to get him for this year. He's all in with the Buccaneers. All in. With one exception. During training camp, I'm just going to take a 10-day break. And it was odd because as it initially trickled out that he was going to take some time off for personal reasons, people became concerned. There was speculation. Is there an issue? Is there a problem? Is there an illness that we don't know about? And the Buccaneers spent a lot of time yesterday saying, nothing to see here. This was planned. This was known. This was in the pipeline. Here are both head coach Todd Bowles and general manager Jason Light addressing Tom Brady's excused and pre-planned absence. Tom has been excused today. He will be taken anywhere. He'll be back sometime around after Tennessee. He's going to deal with some personal things. This is something we talked about before training camp started. We allotted this time because he wanted to get in and get chemistry with the guys and go through two weeks of training camp, knowing he wasn't going to play the first two games. Uh, he didn't want to take away reps from Blaine and uh, Kyle, and as well as Griff as far as going into these next two games, and it's something he needs to handle. We trust him. We talked about it. It was, like, it was scheduled way before training camp, and he will not be here until after Tennessee. This was pre-planned. We talked about this. It predates, you know, camp starting that uh, he was going to need, wanted to take this time off that Todd talked about. And we, you know, of course, we're going to let him do what he needs to do. So and he's focused as ever. He'll come back in even more focused. And we're not just the least of our concerns. Is he going to be ready for the Dallas game on September the 11th? <laughs> He'll be ready. I mean, there's not... There's not many uh, 45-year-olds playing at MVP level and have seven Super Bowls in their back pocket. So we're, we're not at all concerned about that. And I think that's been the reaction by many as it relates to this unusual development. There's only one player perhaps in the history of the league that could pull this off, yeah. and it's Tom Brady. And they still didn't get into details about what it is. Is it a vacation? Is it a family matter? Is somebody having some sort of a procedure? There's a lot of stuff that can fall under this umbrella of a pre-planned absence, Shireen. But the one thing we can all agree on, this isn't a usual occurrence in the month of August for any NFL team. No, it's absolutely not, Mike. And it's not been his M.O. I mean, he's been a guy in the past, if you look at his, his history in New England, like he likes to play in the preseason. He likes to do all those things that you do in training camp. And so this hasn't been something that he's ever done before. Now, personal by definition means something that you don't want to disclose and it's close to you, but because we don't know what it is, there's going to be rampant speculation about why he's away from the team and was it pre-planned. I don't have any worries about him coming back and being in shape and doing all the things you have to do and being committed, but this just hasn't been something, Mike, that's been in his past that he's done before. And he also missed, by the way, two practices of the last six practices that the team has had. So he's been away from this team a lot. And he's always talked about being all in. And if you t look, go back and look at his retirement announcement, it was the competitive juices and you have to be all in and all those things. And this, to me, doesn't feel like all in. Now, again, we don't know what it is. And if it's a health crisis with him or one of his family members, totally get it, pre-planned, whatever. But we just don't know. So that invites the speculation. And, and you do wonder well, what this means. Is he is he away thinking about his future or is he all committed to this team and it's something else and he'll be back and be all in the rest of the way? I think it was handled very poorly from a PR perspective. It's yeah. not something that if you know it's coming, you drop onto everyone and act like it's no big deal. And why does anyone care? We don't have a problem with it. Why should you have a problem with it? I heard that several times yesterday. Well, it's not an issue of having a problem with it. It's just an issue of something happening that you're not quite sure what to make of it. And what are we here for? Why do we do this? We do this to comment, analyze, present information about what's happening in the NFL. Somebody asked me last night, why does it 
Why do you care? It doesn't affect you in any way. Well, none of this stuff affects me in any way. But we still cover it. We still talk about it. We're here to try to make sense of it for the fans. And when it's going to be treated as a state secret, which is a relevant topic these days, when it's going to be treated as a state secret, we're going to wonder what the hell's going on. It's human nature to be curious. We're all curious. If you're not curious in this business, you shouldn't be in this business. And something curious is happening with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So, yeah, I'd like to know. Why? Does it affect me? No. But I'd like to know. And there's something about it that just seems weird. There's something about it that just seems off. And in situations like that, and it may be, Shereen, just as I said, an issue of piss poor PR, that they didn't properly condition us to be ready for this. It invites a lot of, hmm, what, you know, what's going on here? So, again, it's his business. I don't want to pry. I don't want to know. I don't want to know anything I'm not entitled to know. But they've let this happen in a way that gets a lot of people wondering what's going on. It's fair to ask what's going on. It's fair to say it's none of your business. But there had to have been a better way to do this so we all aren't kind of like caught flat-footed when it happens on Thursday. Yeah, Mike, they could have gotten out front on this, especially with him missing those other two practices to say, hey, there's going to be a time here when he's going to miss more practices. Pre-planned, it's not a big deal. If they had done that and then he practices against the Dolphins in the joint practice and then leaves, you're like, okay, well, they they said he was going to leave. We still don't know why he left. There's still questions about that. And the other thing is, Mike, maybe if he hadn't retired and unretired, you wouldn't have in the back of your mind – huh, is he thinking about his future? Is he going to come back? And I don't know that Todd Bowles really gave you a great amount of confidence that this isn't something to do with, is Tom Brady all in for the season? Bowles said he has a pretty high level of confidence that Brady will start week one. That doesn't tell me, yeah, he's going to be here. He's going to be on the field against the Dallas Cowboys in that first game of the season. So that, to me, is, is the big question mark just because he had the 40-day retirement and he talked about being all in, and now he's gone during training camp and he's never done this before. So that's why I have the big question mark in my mind about what's going on here truly with Tom Brady. And I hope it's that, not a health issue with he or one of his family members. That's an excellent point. And, look, I don't want to make too much of this, but – And this may just be a byproduct of Todd Bowles and his kind of low-key approach to everything. But that question of what's your level of confidence that'll be there week one, that calls for a Bill Belichick eye roll. That calls for what are you talking about? Of course he's going to be here for week one. Not, well, I've got a pretty high level of confidence. He's going to be, no, of course he's going to be here. He's all in. This is a pre planned absence. This is something we discussed months ago. He will be back and he will be ready and he will be fine. And I got more of that from Jason Light than I did from Todd Bowles. But yeah. look, I, I apply Occam's razor <laughs> to situations like this and I just feel really cool and smart saying Occam's razor. So I could just say it over and over again for two hours and maybe one day when it's slow, I will. But I think this is as simple as Tom Brady considering coming back after the door to Miami was slammed in his face, right? Bucks fans. I know you don't want to hear this. He was quitting your team to go play for the dolphins. That door got slammed in his face. He kicked the tires on, finally going to San Francisco, that door got slammed in his face for whatever reason, and now he's back. But before he came back, hey, he leveraged the situation. I want a new head coach. Oh, don't get mad at me. I'm just throwing out an example of what he's in a position to ask for. And, hey, here's my schedule for the offseason program and training camp. Here's when I'll be here. Here's when I won't be here. Never mind that it's in my wife's handwriting This is my schedule of when I'll be here and when I won't be here. And it's part of the negotiation he may have had with her. Because I I remember after that 
loss to the Rams in the postseason. When they were down 27-3, they had shots of her in the luxury suite. We're thinking she seems not bothered by this at all because she's finally getting her husband back after all these years. We're in unprecedented territory with a quarterback playing this long into his life. So I think the simple explanation is when he negotiated his return, he asked for this time off. And the Bucks clumsily kept it close to the vest until day one of his mid-training camp hiatus. And that very well could be, Mike. And if it's something as simple as that, again, it was bad PR not to come out and announce that the day before he's leaving the team to go wherever he's going. So, and, and it's not like we're not going to find out. I would be, I have not, I have a pretty high level of confidence, Mike, that we're going to find out where Tom Brady is and why he took this time off. So, you should have gotten ahead of this and, and figured out. And maybe if, you know what, maybe if the penalties hadn't come out from the NFL, he would have had a press conference last week. And, and maybe that was the plan. And then the, the NFL issued those penalties on the Dolphins that involved Tom Brady. And so maybe the press conference was off to, to deal with this, that he was going to be away and he had something to do. Who knows how that worked out because he hasn't talked. He talked the day before the NFL issued their ruling against the Dolphins, and he hasn't talked since. So maybe there was something planned there where he was going to do it, and maybe that messed up the whole PR plan for this thing. But whatever it was, it was botched big time. Well, he's not going to talk, my understanding, is that we won't hear from him until his mandatory midweek yeah. press conference before the opener against the Cowboys. And Will there even be a question about the Dolphins tampering with him in 19, 20, 21, and 22? They may not even get to that. Has to be. Because they got so many, but they got so many other things to talk to him about now. And, and we know how. Yeah. We, look, I mean, and I, I don't mean this to be critical of the press corps that covers a team. It's awkward. It's delicate. You want to have access. You need to have good relationships. They get pissed at you if you ask certain questions. I don't know how much he's going to get by way of a, a thorough examination of his desire to play for the Dolphins, especially because we'll be a month removed from it. And there's a more immediate question now. Tom, where were you for those 10 days and how much did it affect your preparation? Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.